Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Wednesday. It's April the 13th. We have a Easter egg hunt at church tonight. Um, so I am making an Easter poke cake. I have never made a poke cake ever before in my life, but I found this one that has like all the Easter colors in it and it looks super pretty. So I thought I'm going to try it. We're having pizza um, tonight. So I figured for dessert, I would make a poke cake. Other people bring in desserts as well, but let's try this and see how it turns out. I saved the recipe to my phone last night so that I could try it this morning. So first we're just starting with a regular white box cake. We're just going to do everything that the box says to do, the eggs, the oil, the water, mix it, heat it up in the oven exactly how it says. So we we'll start by pouring the mix in here. Half a cup of vegetable oil. I actually do not have any vegetable oil, so I'm using canola oil. I'm hoping that it turns out just as good. Oh, I forgot to preheat the oven. I need to preheat it to 350. I've got my eggs laid out here, so I'm going to go in with three eggs now. Okay, so now I'm going to whisk all these ingredients together. Okay, so now we're gonna take our cake batter and divide it in four equal parts. This is where we're gonna put our food coloring in. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of food coloring to each one of these. So I'm gonna start with yellow over here, just a few drops. Now we're gonna go in with the green. <laughs> There's our green, and let's go in with blue. color is red but I kind of want to purple. We're going to make a purple with red and blue. We're going to try to. Yes, that made a really pretty purple. Okay. So now let me get my pan. So now in our pan, what we want to do is take our spoonfuls and drop it in the pan and I'm going to spread it a couple of inches apart because it'll spread quickly and we want to kind of separate these colors and we're going to keep doing that and layer it until it's all done. this is going to go in the oven and bake at 350 for about 29 to 34 minutes I'm going to watch it all right so the cake has been cooling about 10 minutes now you take the end of a wooden spoon and poke little holes all in it and then we're going to let it cool completely from there before we do anything else okay I feel like my wooden spoon is going to be just too big so I'm going to use a straw actually you want to do it about an inch apart All right, so now we're going to do the pudding mix. I'm just using this Hershey's um, white chocolate. It calls for white chocolate, so I got this one. So, so first we're going to put in two cups of cold milk. All 
All right, so now we are going to pour this over the cake. All right, now this is gonna go in the fridge until it sets. Okay, so the cake is done and you're actually supposed to put some whipped cream on top. I think I'm just gonna leave it with the pudding and add some sprinkles to it. sun is bright it's not actually the sun but the rays coming through the clouds that is what like will kill your eyes i have to have sunglasses on even when it's cloudy it's pretty cloudy but it is bright his little baby toes back there really sleeping she's getting her a good nap in the car um i cannot wait to try that poke cake tonight it's in the fridge i'm gonna leave it there until we leave it looks like it's gonna be really good but i'm excited to try it and now we're out i had to bring Allie to the dentist today is her appointment at 2 it's 2 21 they told me it would take about an hour so we came to sit in the car it is freezing cold in that waiting room in there i could not handle it anymore so i'm gonna sit in the car i'm gonna go in a few minutes and just check see how things are going so we're just hanging out in the car, waiting on her. Um, all the other girls, except Kylie, Allie, and Millie, are at home with Josh. He got off work. So they stayed with him. Allie's done at the dentist. Everything went good. We're waiting on Kylie to come out of Island now while we were waiting on her. Anyway, we had 45 minutes um, to do whatever while she's in Island. So we went to Clay. I got a frosty coffee. We just got drinks. Got a frosty coffee. Allie got a frosty lemonade. And then I just got Kylie a Coke. It's not even here. You ready to go? Mama, hmm? what's the Easter Bunny basket? You got your basket. Millie said, Papa. Did she? Yeah, I said, said Easter Bunny. Come. How many eggs are you going to find tonight? Six. You're going to find five? How about you, Everly? Oh, oh, ten. Oh, ten. Everly. How many eggs are you going to find? A lot. A lot. Well, let's go. Got to get buckled. You got some, Bethany? <laughs> What's you got, Everly? What's that? You how many? Oh, you've got a lot so far. Come on, let's go find some more. Uh oh, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, Natalie. All right, y'all, so it is now the next day. We had a lot of fun last night. We had a devotion, we had food together, and then the kids got to go on Easter egg hunt. So anyway, I've spent a little part of my morning today getting this together. The kids helped me do it. We cracked up all the eggs that had candy in it, like the jelly beans and things. Put all of their candy into one bowl. This is a pretty good size bowl too, y'all. This is pretty good size and it's overflowing and it's not even all the candy we're gonna have to give some candy away or something but this will last us for a very long time because they my kids do not have free range to candy i keep this put up so anyway we've got some candy to last us for a pretty good while if you can't tell that's a lot of candy and they also got little things like play-doh and they all got one of these little chicks which they absolutely love they've been playing with these things a lot you wind it up and it walks it's so cute we're just having a fun relaxed spring break day like we didn't even bother Really getting dressed. My older kids wanted to get dressed, but my little ones are still in their night clothes outside blowing bubbles on the porch. Fun, right? <laughs> they did get a piece of candy after lunch today. Some chose peeps. Some chose their chocolate crosses. Back on top of the fridge real quick. And for lunch today, we just done corn dogs and apples. Simple, but good. Here's <laughs> your little chickie. I need... 
to fill my coffee pot back up since I'm gonna have an afternoon cup of coffee real quick. So I got a new K cup to try. I got this classic cinnamon roll. So I'm gonna try that for my afternoon coffee today. I don't think I've ever had this this kind. So hopefully. But anyway, I am going to have an afternoon cup of coffee and then I'm going to get started back on some laundry. I'm trying to get all laundry caught up today because tomorrow is Friday and we're wanting to do something fun as a family tomorrow. We're either going to go to like a goat farm or we talked about maybe riding up the mountain just a little bit. We're going to do something fun tomorrow because it's a spring break and the girls start back to school next week. So we're going to figure out what to do for tomorrow. So I'm going to try to get a lot of cleaning, a lot of laundry done today. I keep thinking about that song that says, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Because guess what? He's already been there. So I hope that y'all have a beautiful weekend celebrating our risen Savior. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.